My video for March the 12th, 2019 is video number 3022. The title is Vivid Dream, Weird Communion, Strange Mystic. We all have dreams, don't we? Some are like nightmares. Others may be sexual or spiritual. Some we forget. Others make us ponder. What does that mean? Well, I had another vivid dream in which there was a weird communion type ceremony led by a strange mystic. Counting the mystic, there were nine beings in the dream. Four were elderly and four seemed like young adults or possibly even teenagers. Upon awakening, the dream was fresh in my mind and very mystical. I laid in bed a good while pondering what it meant, but I realized it was something to be shared. I wrote the blurb even before I uploaded the video I recorded yesterday morning. I can't help but wonder what hearing this will trigger in those who listen. Obviously, I will watch the comments with interest. Will great spirit heal creation? Of course, that is my hope and prayer. Yes, I haven't uploaded the video for the 11th, March the 11th yet, video number 3021. <laughs> and here I am recording the one for the next day. Um, <laughs> I've never done that before. I don't think, I think that's true. I don't think I've ever recorded, maybe when I went to Australia, I might've recorded some in advance, but I don't think I recorded them out of order. <laughs> and that's exactly what's happening with this one uh, because I haven't uploaded, again, the video for the day that I'm recording this, which is actually the 11th. I haven't uploaded that one yet. It still sits on my computer, and that's where this one's going to sit till tomorrow morning. The dream was strange. Uh, at first, I thought I was the mystic. But then as I pondered it, I, I wondered. And then I wondered, am I all of the characters in the dream? Are they all aspects of me from different timelines and different incarnations because there were there was a mix of there seemed to be a mix of gender and race uh, some were dark some were old and young as i've already said in the blurb and some were they all seemed human or human like uh, but there it was a strange thing it was almost like there were there were four and, and the, the four older people were in the in the middle of the circle and then the other four younger ones were more to the outside of the circle again i'm not sure what that means this is just what i'm recollecting from the images that i was seeing while i was asleep <laughs> or in a dream state however you want to call that uh, but the mystic had everybody join in, in one circle so that there was now, instead of the youth on the younger ones on the outside, we were all there and the mystic was leading the ceremony, if you will. And there were three different kinds of meat that had been broken and mingled. There was, it seemed like poultry, beef and pork is what, is what I recall from the dream. Although later I, I thought, well, there, there needs to be some fish too, but there wasn't in the dream. And that was something that I added afterwards. And there was some kind of bread that was eaten with the, the meat. Um, and then we all drank water. Again, I'm trying to put the pieces together as I <laughs> reminisce on the dream, as I think about it. But what it may means to me in looking back at this, which was just within the past hour, really, or maybe a little bit more than an hour now, 
but not very long ago, uh, what comes to me is that there's some kind of a healing taking place in this. The mystic to me represents God or great spirit. Um, and the different kinds of meat represent the differences just as the different humanities, the representatives of humanity, represents the variation in creation. And the water is the water of life. And of course, we all breathe the breath of life, regardless of whether we're human or animal or even plant. Everything has a breath of life, and that's spirit. It's actually the great spirit that holds everything together. Because no matter what the air that we breathe is made of, no matter how it's composed, it's still, for wherever we are in the universe, it is the breath of life. It's a commonality that holds us all together and that we cannot be separated from. Maybe even death cannot separate us from it. I'm not sure of that one. I just threw that in. Uh, but uh, it certainly leaves me scratching my head and saying, what is the message in this? Is, is there going to be a healing, finally, of mankind? You all know, if you've been listening to my videos, that that's what I want. I have felt that that was my mission. So am I the elder and the other eight people? I think I already asked that question in this video. But lots of things, lots of things to consider. And I'm uh, going to be, uh, have some interest in ha seeing how people react and respond upon hearing this and how many people are willing to actually share this weird vision. <laughs> um, I'd like humanity to be healed. You know that, if you've been listening to me. I want the game and the con, the con game to be ended. I want clarity. I want there to be, as I said, a healing of not just humanity, but of creation itself. I'd like to see a celebration. I'd like to see a coming together, a reunion, if you will, of that which has been split apart through the ages. Will that happen in my lifetime? Will I actually live to see that? Or was this part of seeing that, this strange dream? Well, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? I wish I had the answers. In this moment, I don't. But I do appreciate those of you that took time to listen. And as I said in the blurb, uh, I will watch the comments with interest. I'd like to hear some reaction because it certainly touched on some things that struck this mind of mine, since I am pretty much a vegetarian now and obviously that was meat in the dream. <laughs> anyway, thank you folks for listening and namaste. <laughs>